Evening everybody. It's Thursday the 18th of June and I've made it. That's a dry spell. It's been lashing it down all day here. And I thought, nah. Anyway, we've got a dry spell and here I am. Walk and talk time. Today's topic is physical symptoms, physical sensations, under the bracket of health anxiety, self-checking, hypersensitive, the most common symptoms you feel of anxiety are headaches, do you know, to be fair, you put a dot on your body and believe me, anxiety can make it hurt. Deadly serious there. Aches, pains, zaps, tingles, rashes, lumps, bumps, you name it, it's possible. From head to toe, they can be felt anywhere. Different sensations. There's common ones like the lump in the throat, tension in the jaw, neck, shoulders, chest, around the rib area, stomach area. But pretty much, it can be anywhere. You can feel anything. It's unbelievable when you look at the amount of symptoms that you can have due to anxiety. Absolutely unreal. Now the thing is, we're getting a mindset of feeding these. So, we've got to change that mindset. Evening. So what happens is we start looking for them. We start actually searching for them, asking if we're all right, and oh, I don't feel this today. And and all these thoughts and like, you know, they create anxiety. So they cause further symptoms. So we've got to try and change our whole mindset. Now there's a few different ways we can do this. And believe me, as always, it ain't easy. But it's either that, or carry on struggling. You've got to make a change. If you don't try and make these changes, nothing actually changes. And the thing is, it's so worth it. The hard work is, is so worth it. Anyway, here's a few hints and tips of what you can try. You know, they might work for you, they might not. First of all, always my go-to, meditation. Meditation done daily. Start with three minutes, work up, three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, up to 40 minutes is so powerful. So, so powerful. And it might not be for you initially, but stick with it. Stick with it, because honestly, it's so, so powerful. Second thing, Write down your feelings. Whatever your symptoms you feel, write them down. Because you can always come back to them then. You can always write them down, write how you felt and everything. This does two things. Once, you've, once they're on paper, you can sort of, you can rationalise them a bit better. You know, rather than going over them in your mind and making it worse. You can, once they're on paper, you can just, you can just rationalise things better. You can work things out better. So write everything you feel down, make a note of it. Make a note of it maybe in alphabetical order or something. And then you can come back to it. You can always come back to it. So if you feel like it in a week's time or two weeks time, you can come back and think, well, I've felt like this before. 
and I was all right last time, so I'm going to be all right this time. Yeah, it feels bad, but I'll get over it, and you will. You will. Again, I know it's not easy. So write them down. Third thing is whatever. Give yourself time slots, or say, I don't know, say between four and five. You know, pick your own time slot, it's not important. Pick your own time slot. Say four and five, I'm going to say between four and five. So, whatever physical symptom you feel, right, out of that time bracket, just give yourself that time bracket to worry about it or to think about it. So, just say, no. It's not my time. It's not my time to think about this. You know, it's only two o'clock in the afternoon. It, it's not my time to worry about this. I'll worry about it at four o'clock. Now, what that does, doesn't stop the thought and it doesn't stop the worry, but it gives you a little bit of control over it. And it gives you a bit of power. to have this worry time. It puts um, puts the ball in your court just to have this worry time where you're making the rules, not the anxious mind. And the other one was number three you on it. Not worth it tonight, honestly. So number four, number four. Try to accept it. We spend a lot of time. Again, this is quite hard to do, but when you manage to do this, it all goes away. Simple as that. We spend a lot of time, we'll get a, say we get a chest pain. The chest pain, oh, what's this? And then, oh, is there something wrong with my heart? I'm at bang. You've triggered that fear once again. And then everything gets worse then. Everything gets stronger. So when you feel something, rather than try to label it. I used to, I used to just... You can name it. You know, you hear people naming the... You know, oh, it's Bert or Freddy or whatever, come again, or... I used to just have m my monkey mind, you know. Oh, here we are again. And I used to use all my symptoms to just ground myself. But by accepting it, so instead of, like, questioning it, just say, all oh, right, here we go again. Well, look, I'll worry about you at four o'clock. And it's that little bit of acceptance that's strong. If you're struggling with that, another way of dealing with it or trying to deal with it. So number five, five blooming imps and tips. Surely one of these will work. Number five, when you feel anything, straight away you get into a habit as soon as you feel something, you've got to look around and you've got to find 10 things beginning with a letter. You pick the letter. So, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, when you feel something, right, I've got to pick 10 things beginning with A. And the next time you feel something, I've got to pick 10 things beginning with B. Work through the alphabet. All you're doing, and all you've got to find a way to do, is break the cycle. Once you can break the cycle, you can change your life, really. Because that's all it is. It's an anxious cycle. It's a situation, which is the pain, the ache, the lump, the bump, the rash, the tingle, whatever it is. The situation creates the thought. And how you think of it makes a difference. So, 
you get a situation and you can change your reaction to it by changing your thought towards it, you can get rid of the cycle. So as your situation is chest pain, if your thought is, oh well, my monkey mind's at it again, I'm gonna find 10 things beginning with A. Your feeling, it's just gonna be neutral. It's just gonna be calm. Whereas, if you get the chest pain and your thought is, oh my God, what's that? Bang, within a split second, you've created fear. So your feeling then is gonna be further symptoms, further sensations. And then it's just, you get into that vicious cycle. So there you go, there's five, six, did we get to? I don't know. Not worth it tonight at all. Um, there's a few hints and tips for you anyway. Uh, I hope something there's helped. These are very short bang, bang, bang sort of videos, you know. But they seem to give some, you know, they seem to work, so what the heck, yeah? Anyway guys, that's it from me for today. I'm going to carry on enjoying my walk. I hope you're all well. And I'm sure I'll see you at some point tomorrow. Be kind to yourself. Be present. Bye-bye.